I, I danced. No weird stuff. I danced to my lines. Like, I danced to my lines? No weird what? stuff. What? Y'all here doing Hespins to... Y'all here doing ha- Hespins to Hamlet and shit, bro? Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. like grinding now. Yeah. That's Shakespeare. Hell yeah, bro. That's Shakespeare. Bro. All right. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's that slaps, yo. All right, all right. That's new, I like that bit. Brandon? Yeah, I mean, yeah, repetition. I don't. I might try dancing shit. Yo, thank you. Yo, for real. <laughs> I I'm gonna up. do a damn yeah. moonwalk after you guys yeah, leave, bro. Right. Like, yeah. you know, like, scene, damn, bro. that's yeah, beautiful. Repetition and like, uh, like again, something I'm trying like lately is like just like you improvise like stuff. So it's like I play it like you know, like I can't like I used to like sit down and read the lines because you're like fuck, this is what's important. You gotta get the lines right. right. That's it. And then you're not doing shit else. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then you're just saying it. So it's like to like you gotta move like okay, the character's standing. All right, let me try and like stand and get used to like saying it here. Oh, already? Alright. Didn't even notice we turned the cameras on. Oh, yeah. I'm quick with it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I'm digging it. Oh, of course. They, someone finally understands what you're doing. Someone finally understands what I'm doing. Because, ladies and gentlemen, for a plethora of episodes, we have had guests who are not uh, having a theatrical background. And they look at me like I'm out here doing Santeria. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you are. And maybe. Uh, and, uh, you know what I'm saying? They question. They question everything. They question their decisions to show up here in the first place. And then we dive into it. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's a theatrical pre-show ritual. And how could I thank you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. How could I not, you know, show off a theatrical pre-show ritual when we have theatrical magnets, powerhouses in the studio today? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before I get into introducing, you, you know what I'm saying, the beautiful cast before us today, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? It's your motherfucking boy, Gamero, the Pharaoh, the poor man's Robert De Niro. You know what I'm talking about? Bald version, gang shit. Uh, <laughs> how you doing? You know, we're all so very happy, so very ecstatic to be joined here uh, another beautiful Sunday or Thursday at midnight for our beautiful listeners. You know what I'm saying? Check out that YouTube shameless plug. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we are also very ecstatic and we are joined here, you know, before we introduce our guests, we are joined here by my co-host, you know what I'm saying? A man of saying of many talents, a traveling man. You know what I'm saying? I'm digging the shirt. What is that? Scarface? We got everybody. Oh, okay. Shit, the Mob Museum, Las Marlon Vegas. Marlon Brando himself. Oh, Marlon Brando. Big shout out, Marlon Brando. You know what I'm saying? I'm, sure, he, I'm sure he's listening. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> to my right hand side, we got Emmy in the hands. Ha! And uh, I'm glad you introduced me here because I have a gripe on this. Uh, oh. I want to let it out in this oh, town shit. center, in this town square I'm we have right here now. present. I'm uh, sweating. With the people of my building, right? <laughs> you guys can go fuck yourselves. Amen, bro. This week, I have started receiving a newspaper to my house because I'm an old man. I understand <laughs> I don't look it, but I get the Wall Street Journal delivered to my oh, front wow. door. I thought it was going to be mad. And girl. these motherfuckers stole my newspaper yesterday. I had it all planned out. I was excited to wake up Sunday morning. <laughs> Get do my the, newspaper. Do the crossword puzzle. <laughs> nah, fuck the crossword puzzle. I want to follow up on the world. You gang, know, gang. have my eggs. You know, a little coffee. Read my paper in the back porch. Mm. And I go to the front door, and there's no fucking paper. So I call fuck people. That. I'm like, hey, yo, did you by any chance pick up a paper? No, nah, I haven't seen any paper out there. And that's bullshit. And that's right, bullshit, because these bro. people, and you know, when people are these lying. people every six in the morning they drop off the newspaper, and I know they do because I've seen them all the time, and they're fucking like clockwork. Mm. So that's bullshit. And Fuck you guys. I don't know who you are, but I will find out and fuck you guys. And that's beautiful. That's a beautiful note I to, to get start up at on. six in the morning you know today to grab my paper for Sunday. Respect. So fuck you guys. Damn, you know what I'm saying? That's an early rise. I went right back to sleep after, but Respect. I did. It. But he showed up today. You know what I'm saying? He's here. Exactly. And you know what I'm saying? Bright eyed and bushy tailed. And that's beautiful. And I missed yesterday. Thanks, guys. Yeah, there you go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know what I'm talking about? The man's wearing a Beatles shirt behind the cameras. The man's a cameraman extraordinaire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The man's got a lollipop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, behind the scenes, we got Cruz in the his house. Oh my God, how's everything, brother? Good, good. Oh, it's beautiful. I feel chilly, bro. I feel chilly. Okay, well, chilly like cold. Oh. oh, the man had an ice bath. The man has had an ice He's bath an athlete, today. Bro. He's an athlete. He's an athlete of colossal proportions. And <laughs> speaking of colossal 
proportions, ladies and gentlemen. That is the only way that I can describe the guests that are before me today. You know what I'm talking about? When you're a thespian, when you're an actor, you have to put work into your craft on the daily. You have to deal with uh, emotional distresses that most people in the arts, most people in any sort of uh, working capacity does not have to deal with. You know, you got to make sure that you go into the deepest, darkest depths of your soul to be able to put on a performance of what? Of colossal proportions. Ladies and gentlemen, we are also very ecstatic to be able to introduce the cast of Wolf and Badger on Midnight in Miami. Ladies and gentlemen, the cast of Wolf and Badger. We got Melissa, Brandon, and Josh. He remembered his lines, folks. Bro, bro, I <laughs> tried his lines. I remember the lines, bro. You know what I'm saying? I recorded it. I, I That's went a to professional. sleep. I record, I, last night, That's a professional. I recorded them. I put them when I went to sleep and I let them play. You know what I'm saying? Hit my subconscious. <laughs> and that's how you memorize lines, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Guys, how are you doing today? Thank you so much for joining us today. I know you had a, you know, a run today. I know it's not easy. I know it's very demanding to be able to get out of a run and still have to do something else. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, well, thank you so much for even having us on here. That's first and foremost, of you course. know, but thank you. I'm super excited to be here. I've never thought in my life I'd be on a podcast. Yeah. So here I am. Yeah. And the best one, you know, Midnight in Miami. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. <laughs> Melissa's already Man, coming shit. back a second time, bro. You already know that. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 She's okay. working on that booking, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, She's I like, respect so the game. What's your next open date? We got this, bro. We make it happen. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I like it. I like it. We'll talk photography next time. We do the whole thing. Oh. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Brandon, talk to me. I'm digging the shirt. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how's everything going? How'd the, uh, the run through go today? Oh, man. You know what? We're killing it, man. I'll be honest with you. Like, uh, Happy to be here. We got you know you got a couple first timers over here. I also have not done a podcast. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. We yeah, popping yeah, cherries. Yeah, yeah. We popping yeah, cherries. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Newspaper, whatever the fuck. You okay, yeah. hey, yeah. fuck you yeah. See motherfuckers. That's how you treat a people. That's how you treat a man's you. newspaper. Thank right there. you, man. I'll steal someone else's. Fuck there you go, bro. bro. Don't mess. Don't mess with a man's Sunday. Listen, dude. That's four dollars. <laughs> Every newspaper is that's four dollars. Oh my god, Josh. How's everything going, brother? Man, all is well. Can't complain. Oh, I'm digging that. I'm digging that. You were telling us before the show started that you recently recently graduated you just got cast on uh well not just got cast but you got cast in wolf and badger you know pretty much out the gate talk to us what was that experience like for you oh man a big honor a oh. big honor big flex uh just, it feels great just feels great you know this is what you work for in school right feels great did you feel did you feel that uh the school prepared you for oh, the, yes. the curveballs that you know that the, the audition threw at you <laughs> bro, because I was there. You can hear everybody's audition. Man. Bro, Brandon was out there and I was like, oh shit, I ain't gonna get this, bro. And, and that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, and that's, bro, you can hear everybody's reading. And I, we were talking about this before we even had the audition. Because sometimes you have an audition. Bro, you can hear everybody. It's the worst. And it's like, it's the fucking worst. It's so you can't. You're going to do what they're going to no, do. Wait, oh, wait, of wait, course. Wait, 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 Dude, no. Shit. Brandon's in there making these damn choices in there. And I'm just like, bro, what the fuck am I going to do? No. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh, bro. Yeah, like, just like you have a pre-show ritual. You're trying to do your pre-audition ritual. Oh. But you can't because you're hearing other people do oh. their freaking monologues. 100%. Like, what? Right. Oh. <laughs> you're over there bawling, crying. You're like, damn, I haven't cried in a monologue Listen, in a minute. Right? <laughs> I don't even know how to cry anymore. You hear the director like, shit, I wasn't Fucking funny. Oh, like, what the hell? Like, no. Oh, dude, no. if, yeah. oh, if Danny Nevis is in, the, bro, if he's laughing. At, oh, I'm fucked. Oh, That's you know you're. Oh funny. yeah, that was tough to make uh, him laugh. That's uh, true. That's true. <laughs> dude, oh, I know it was you. Yeah, bro, if you're doing a comedian monologue and, the, and the, you can hear the director laughing, yeah. you're like, oh, it's gonna be a rough day. Yeah. It's gonna be a rough dude, day. Dude, I put a couple beers in him. It was tough. To <laughs> Good lord. So talk to us. What you know? Was it nerve wracking for you guys? Clearly, you uh, you were able to muster up whatever was needed uh, to be able to get that victory. Talk to us about the auditioning process. Oh man, I was terrified. My first audition ever. I was terrified. First audition ever. I'm in here. I see everybody. They warming up. They getting hyped. Oh. I'm over here like, what to do? <laughs> <laughs> they just there and they just confident. They chilling. I'm like, damn. I get in the audition. I do my monologue. Hit them with that red leather, yellow leather. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yes, sir. What is going on, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm out of the loop all on this one. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. But yeah, after the monologue, he started asking me questions. I'm like, uh. uh. <laughs> 
I forgot what he asked me, but all I know, I was stuttering. I was, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sir, I didn't prepare for this part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I remember when I first got in there. Yeah, and I'm hearing the monologues, and then, okay, great monologue. So, what's been one of your biggest hurdles in theater? And I'm like, bro, oh. why, we're doing a pop quiz? I, what, what, yeah. what, I know we're doing a QA. What the, what the fuck? I, bro, no, no, this wasn't on the study guys, bro. I'm like, bro, no. I'm like, come on the podcast for that shit, bro. We're not doing this right now. It's an audition. Like, Don't worry about damn. it. If you pass me, I'll let you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> damn. Like, this, so, I mean, what was that? Was that nerve wracking for you, the question part about it? I'll be honest. No, so, like, for me, this is like, I had a different experience, sorry. For me, it was like, I, so I just finished up, uh, like, I was doing my master's, like, I had to do it online, all this stuff. The last year, we sucked it at half in person, half in, like, Zoom. Right. Which sucks. Yeah. Especially for acting, man. It's so much, like, especially the show. You like, can. so much you're fucking with the other person, right. you're connecting. It's like, I'm face to face with this dude, finally. But for me, they, like, I went to the audition, I was at the end of my semester, and, like, same thing where I'm like, yo, like, I'm putting all this shit to work, like, as an audition. Okay, I can see myself in either of these roles. Let me go in it. So I literally was like, I don't care if I get it. It was the first time in a minute I've been in an audition in person because yeah. of COVID. Right. So I went in like, I'm just going to fucking have fun. Like, I even went to the bathroom at one point. So I could watch my show, come back, came back and did it. Like, but it's just, it's, ner- it's nerve wracking. But the same thing, like, I couldn't listen to anybody. Like, right. I couldn't hear the auditions, any questions. As soon as I heard him do that, I was like, no, because I'm going to steal it or I'm going to do this. Right. I'm not focusing. Bro, headphones, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just, I had like a so, yeah. track plan. I had like a song. I was like, all right, just don't, I don't give a shit. But like, but no, it's still nerve wracking. But I definitely went into it just solely like, like they teach you too. Like, yeah, that's the whole thing. Like, oh, you know, it's, it's, you go in there to show them like, I'm, I'm the one for this job. Right. Like, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't like it. That's, that's fine. Like, but I know what I can do. Right. So, you know, like there's a bit of an ego, but it's more so like, nah, like I got this monologue show. Okay. That'll be fun. Okay. And the next day we get like a script we've never seen. It's right. Just, right. Just go for it. But you have, to, you have to, you have to go have, in with, with thing. you yeah. have to go for the jugular because yeah. other, otherwise it's not going to work out. Yeah. It's not going to work that's out. That's gotta be a, that's like doing like an interview for a job. And yeah. just sitting behind while that guy's doing it, and just sitting there like, oh yeah, I just hang out here. Bro. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. That, that like I'm trying to picture it. That I wouldn't know what the like. I would leave. I wouldn't know what the fuck to do. Right, right, right. Bro. He's got he's got his little his Harvard buttons and shit. And you're like, oh, it's gonna be a long day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burlington Coat Factory yeah. over here, bro. <laughs> shout, <laughs> shout out Ross, baby. You know what I'm saying? Get those deals, Game. Dress for less, Dress for less baby. We got that sponsorship. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, Melissa, talk to us. What was your uh, auditioning process like? I know we we that's where we uh, we got to cross paths. Yeah. You know, uh, shout out Chris Bickick. You know what I'm Yo. saying? Um, talk to us about that. Yeah. Um, so just like everyone, it was my first audition in person after COVID. I was mm. nervous. I was scared. I was way out of practice. <laughs> Yo, know, like I mean, I've been acting my whole life, but professionally only a few years. So. Right. You have a whole long break, a year and a half break, and you're like, oh my God, do I still have it? Mm, right. Do, do I, am I still good enough mm. to be worthy right. to be cast? Mm. So I go there and I'm really nervous. I wish I brought headphones with me because <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening to everything and I'm trying not to, I'm trying to just stay focused, stay in my lane, not worry about anyone else. But you know how it is. You're always still kind of be like, of course. Well, so what are they doing in there? Yeah, yeah, what are yeah. their choices <laughs> like? Like, what choices are they making? For Maybe real. if it's good, I'm going to take it. Yo, See if I real. can do it a little better. Gang, yo, bro. yo, it's That's all it about, is. it doesn't matter about the same choice. It's just if you do it better. Oh, That's yeah. all you got to do. Oh, and yeah. um, it was really nerve wracking. But you know what? You go into the room and like Brandon said, you got to give it what you got. And if they like it, great. If they don't, cool. I'm right. cool with it. Right. You know, but I... I, I don't know why. I went in with this mindset of that, just that. I'm like, because I'm, I'm such a ball of anxiety. I'm always anxious. And it's really hindered me in auditions, especially in callbacks. And it's, it's, it's what's lost me the job a lot of times. And this time I was like, I don't know what it was. Maybe because it was my birthday on the day of, a, of the audition. But like, oh, I was shit. like, yeah. I was like, yo, oh, okay. Was 27, no, 27, new me. <laughs> and, Hell yeah. um, I went in and I was just like, all right. Let's do this. Hell and yeah. It was the first time in a long time where I was like super confident and just like really like, I know who I am. Right. And if you want it, great. If you don't, that's cool too. And it worked out in my favor. Ooh, that's yes, it awesome. did. Yes, it did. Yes, yeah, it did. Awesome. Uh, talk, guys, talk to us about just how you were talking about, you know, uh, walking out, being confident. Talk to me about that fine line. I've had, a, I've had auditions where I walk out of that audition and I'm just like... <laughs> Get all the motherfucking wallpaper, baby. We good. <laughs> we out here, baby. We done made it. Ari Gold. We done made it. We oh, out oh, here. Yo. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it looks cool. Oh yeah. And then <laughs> and then you know what I'm saying? And then you don't get shit. Yeah. Or there's an audition that you're like, hey, listen, I'd appreciate if you forgot that you ever saw me today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you walk out and you get that call. 
and yeah. you never know what the fuck. So talk to me about that fine line of, of thinking that you sucked and then it was actually an amazing audition or think you were great and it wasn't. Yeah, so you were actually there with me during the callbacks. Like you, me, and Bikik, we were the last ones there reading and everything to the point where Danny kicked us out of the theater. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and... When we were leaving, you guys were like, oh, you're the only girl left. You're definitely going to get it. And I'm over here. And you heard me. I'm like, don't say that. Don't yeah. say that. Yep. Yep. Like, if it is cool, I'm like, but don't get my hopes up. You got to just hope for the best and expect the worst. Right. You can't go, especially with this, like, industry, it's so volatile. And you have to just really know that it's nothing personal. It really 100%. is all business. And that took something, you know, up, up until really recently for me to really learn and really appreciate. Like, it's not about me. Mm. It's not about my talent. I know I'm talented. I know what I've got. I know what my what I bring to the table. But it's also being that humble self as well. It's having that confidence, but also being humble enough to say, okay, you know, you don't want it. That's cool too. It's it's about letting that that ego, mm. that id go, you know? Right, right. Um, guys, talk to me about what it was like having a hiatus in the acting industry. You know, there's so many different professions that you can take time off and be cool and you'll be fine. Um, kind of like riding a bike. Do you guys feel that it's the same way? Did you guys feel rusty coming in? Talk to me about that, that first week and finally getting cast and correct me if I'm wrong for the first time after the pandemic, if it was the same for everybody else. Yeah. First, for, yeah, for me, first time since the pandemic in person, at least like, like I said, like, again, I'm coming from like, I was in school, like I'm just finishing up. So I've had like this last year on Zoom, but I'm like, you know, I have some really good teachers. I still go to them like now, like they're like friends. They're, right. Like, amazing. Like I went to them for this script. I was like, the fuck am I doing? <laughs> but like, yeah, like, and it's like what yeah, Melissa's saying. It's like, I remember leaving the audition for this one because I was just hungry, man. Like, yeah, I wanted to prove like, okay, it's been a year. I'm in school. Like, I'm about to be done too. It's like, you know, and it's like, I'm just like, man, like just to get. To add, I remember getting on stage, I was like, yo, I'm in person, this is fucking nuts. Like, if yeah. I get to, there's a person in front of me, I get to literally touch them and do this shit. And it's like, with uh, with going into this one, it was like, I just felt like, I, I when I left the audition, I was like, look, whether they cast me or not, I felt good about it. And that's like all you can do. Like, that's the mentality of it. It's like, and I don't always do that. That's like, again, this is like a first time fighting right. it. I still would have been like, damn. I did like the best audition I could have, especially after a year of being on hiatus. Right. And it's that hunger, man. It's like, it's like a tease, you know, it's like, you know, if you're a cigarette smoker and you're like, get like a vape, it's like, it's not the same feeling. It's not the it's same. It's like, yo, like I'm acting on a camera to someone a million miles away. That was They're a good, good comparison. Connection. <laughs> That's yeah, a really like, good yeah, comparison. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I understand what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, former, former smoker. But like, I, yeah, it was just, for me, it was just like, man, I just wanted it. And then even if I didn't get it, I was like, yo, this is, I had a good time. I got to fuck with people. It was nice to work with other mm. people. And I remember that specifically too. I remember it was like, you know, you're going through your head. Like, if I don't get it, I wonder who's going to get it. Right. And of course. hundred like, percent. Yeah. So 100%. it's like, yeah, it was just being away from it for so long. And you're like, oh, I get an opportunity to do it now again, the way we learned it. It's like, hell yeah. Like, just get in there, man. Damn. Josh, right. what was your experience like? Did you have a hiatus as well? No, not really. Okay. He's like, nah, bro, I'm, I stay working. I don't know about y'all. I'm like, bro, I stay busy, bro. Oh, yeah. He's like, y'all working. He's like, y'all, y'all. Pandemic, what? He's like, y'all, y'all, the crib eating bonbons. I'm out here working. I don't know about show, bro. <laughs> so, uh, talk to me. So, what, uh, what were some of the projects that you continued working on then? Nah, this is actually my first. Okay, okay. Ever, 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 ever. Ever, ever. So what, talk to me about, you know, did you go in there uh, nervous? I'm assuming that you went in there, you know, you had, correct me if I'm wrong, four years of the same people uh, when you were, did you study theater? Yes, my senior year. Of okay, got you, got you, okay. And, um, and your senior year, you built a sort of rapport, some sort of trust, you know, with the classmates, especially in a drama class. Uh -huh. You know, shout out Trust Falls, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, no, you know, no, what, no. what? We play Ninja. No. We play Ninja. Oh. oh, that was a theater game. Like nobody's Yo, business. When I, whenever you were at oh. states, oh. Ninja was like the Ninja biggest thing. Ninja was the thing. Yeah. What? Oh you my god! Get one game started. Oh. Everyone's a part of it. Oh, it's beautiful. Which one's Ninja? So you stay stagnant and you can only move one part, mm -hmm. right? And you have to like be able to grab and, and have, like, touch uh, on. Yeah. So I think we played it in band or some nah, shit. Nah, right? I remember seeing. I remember seeing a group of people playing that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wasn't a part those, of it. Those theater kids. <laughs> what losers? I had to throw a jab in there. I had to throw a jab in there. <laughs> person it looks crazy oh 100 percent bro anybody who's not a theater person sees a theater person do anything and they look fucking insane <laughs> <laughs> and actually uh, which kind of leads me to my next point talk to me about um 
method acting, such a polarizing topic. <laughs> you know, uh, it, it's respected from people outside of the industry because, mm -hmm. oh my God, you're so devoted to the role. But then if you're a castmate of someone who's a method actor, they can go fuck themselves. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, bro, or who, who was it? Uh, oh my God, the Joker. He Joaquin was sending Phoenix. like, yeah, he was Phoenix. sending, he was sending like dead rats to his oh, castmates. Oh, no, 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 Jared Leto. Jared Leto, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, bro, yeah. bro, eat a bag of dicks. Like, I'm yeah. sorry. Like, I'm yeah, not gonna, that's like, up. like, come that's on, dude. Up. Like, I know you're in your character and everything don't be sending me this yeah. shit like I got work in the morning. Yo, I'm not trying to have some vermin like yo, running around my house. Like, I'm out here watching YouTube videos. Like, <laughs> don't bother freaking me. Freaking plague running across yeah. my feet. For real, man. <laughs> um, so, I, I, you know, talk to me. Is it, uh, do you feel that it's something prevalent in uh, the local South Florida scene? Do you think it's only seen in, in places of like uh, film or maybe, you know, when you're on Broadway, things of, of this regard? What, what are your two cents on this? So, I mean, it's kind of hard to say that it's characterized by where you are every hour actors you know is his own person and it's super personal <clears throat> method acting for me i'm not the biggest fan because i feel like you know if you do your work like you do the character work you do their past circumstances everything that you should do you don't need to method act mm. however i do feel like in certain aspects having a little bit of a tinge of method acting can help you know like for example, if you're doing some fight choreography and letting the other person take the lead without hurting each other, putting a little bit more weight into it oh, so yeah. that you can actually feel it a little more. So that type of right. method acting, I'm cool with, but like like what Heath Ledger did to become the Joker by locking himself in a room for a month, right. I'm not okay with it. Like right. that's, that to me- It's a little much. It's right. a little much. Yeah. And, but you know what, if that's what helped him and he was an insane Joker, right, it was right, right. freaking cool. But ugh. no, but I agree. Make make that fight choreography realistic, bro. Yeah. When I did uh the Scottish play, bro, I was beating the shit out of Macduff. I'll tell you that, bro. Yeah. We were hitting each other for real. Like it was, <laughs> bro, it was, bro, it was, bro, it was like bare knuckle out here, bro. Like it was legit. Yeah. You know, shout out Macduff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you took those hits, bro. Oh hell yeah. Um, guys, talk to me about so far. What has been the biggest hurdle? Uh, during the, the rehearsal process, during the entire process of putting on this production. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is a world premiere. Mm -hmm. uh, the first time ever being produced. You guys have to catch it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You see all the info on the screen. You see the dates. You see the oh, online yeah. info. That's a dub you know, title, bro. Uh, world bro, premiere? World premiere, yeah. Because if you, if you can't see it in person, which you should, you can definitely cop that shit online. Oh, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You see all that good stuff on the screen. Um, so talk to me a little bit about that. Yo, it's super exciting that it's a world premiere. I never thought in my life I'd have the opportunity to say that. Um, I would have to say, though, the biggest challenge, at least for me and my character, which I don't want to give too much away because y'all have to come watch it. Yes. Um, but We're not going to spoil anything. Yo, but <laughs> advocating for a character that you normally would not align with is difficult. So you have to find those moments where it's like you all... You, I don't I don't relate to her that much, but you have to find those moments where you can relate to your character, of and that's how you really start getting to know them. And um, you know, and also talking with your castmates and just like hanging out and really talking about those relationships and what they're really like behind the scenes, like what happened before the show started, mm -hmm. what is going on, like what is going on between these characters and these characters, and that's really you know that's really what you got to do and. Really finding the advocation, you know, really advocating for your character. That's the biggest thing I have to say was the most difficult, at least for me personally, just because she is, I don't, I don't fucking like it. I'd be <laughs> I mean, like, yo, like get away from her. I talk to you. <laughs> yo, for real. Oh but God. you got to find those moments of vulnerability. That's wow. it. Wow. Um, what about you guys? Was it easy or difficult to find relatable moments within your characters? Oh, for me, pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> talk to me about talk to me about your character. Uh, I don't want to give too much away, but you know, <laughs> you we're know. our characters in a show. That's all we'll say. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Do you do you find a lot of relatable moments? Um. Yeah. I mean, it's like it's funny that the method acting thing. Like, I always like I call myself like a fake method actor because like I like like I look up to guys like Shia LaBeouf and all this stuff because it's right because like, it's just they're so in it. But Bro, I almost put a paper bag over my head today. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah! I did a show. I did a fucking thing. Uh, I had damn! Yeah, I, was I was walking around Times Fucking Square with that. Damn, shit. bro! But that's whatever. That's, you could fill dope. in for me. They wouldn't even know. <laughs> like, that's uh, dumb. I have no, idea. no. <laughs> <laughs> I would not bring that fucking energy, bro. <laughs> Immediately, I'd be like, "How's it going? It's been at my end." And we started. And we started. Oh my god! Maybe I throw an action in there, but that's it. There you go. Yeah, action. There you go. Yeah, no, but I think like 
for me, it's like I yeah, you want to do something that makes it realistic, especially like she, like Mel was saying, like there, it's a character I'm not like like I've even I think he's like tougher than me. He's definitely like more hard around the edges and like he's got a much different background of like a life, like stuff I've never been through. So you got to find like what can I personalize, right? Like I never had that, never had this, you know. But that's any anyway, that's the whole point. Like I'm not trying to play myself and playing whoever the you know whatever. Right. right. But it's yeah, I mean it's fun to it's fun to find that, especially if it's a world premiere. We you know I can't look at another actor I like better and be like oh I'm gonna steal this because they did the same role, you know. It's like you get the chance to like we're really creating. A character for the first time so it's just what the words are yeah we get direction but it's like you know we're doing our own stuff and we work together so like there's a pressure but there's also oh like this is what it is is if i get a role in the future i'm gonna make it my own right like right. if i'm playing willie wonk after timothy Chalamet, i'm gonna do something different like got to you know but yeah i mean the hurdle for me was i mean yeah i guess just the personalization it's like he's a he's a tougher guy than me so you know, I mean, don't come, don't step to me. Like, you know, I learned some shit with this character. Let me tell you something. You don't know about this fight choreography, boy. It's just like an attitude. Yeah, it was like, for me, it was like, oh, like, I didn't want it to be a parody. Because like, you know, it's, it's, but there's something about the language in it. And again, working with these guys, it's like, it kind of lends itself to that. So that's been, it's just been fun. It's been a really nice, I love the character. You can't, you can't judge him, man. You gotta love anyone who talks shit about him. They're like, oh, he's degenerate or is this it's not like all right hold up now hold up right, <laughs> like, you know, right, like, right, right. This, man. like you don't understand exactly where I'm from. but you that's know, the thing wow yeah. uh ladies and gentlemen every single week you know what i'm talking about we have three i said three segments you know what i'm talking about and the first one is actually called m- 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 mail time you know what i'm talking about um and in this beautiful segment uh shout out blues clues giving us a name um you know what i'm saying we uh ask our beautiful guests a question and a question that you yourself have asked you know what i'm saying every saturday you can see a post on our instagram and boom you can ask a question to our glorious guests or guests before us today and here we go you know what i'm saying <laughs> all right i would forget all those fucking segments bro i was wearing that bag also um all right we kind of we briefly went over this but you know you guys can give me a little bit more detail uh what's been the biggest hurdle you guys had to go through as a cast during the rehearsal process as a cast yeah that's a that's a uh, interesting question yo q pick up q pick up be, like um <clears throat> so for those of you who don't know exactly what cue pickup is is someone says a line and you just don't want to have that much space between it no dead air you want to have like a real conversation with someone and if there's dead air you lose momentum right. so i think as a cast because we're all so focused on our lines because our lines are also like it's just a lot especially for these two okay so it's a lot of work and um Especially now when we're working with the set too. Now we're working with all these moving parts. Right. That blocking. Yeah, all the blocking, all the new set pieces. And then we find ourselves not listening as much because we're trying to be like, oh, look, this new part over here on the stage. Like, I can use it in my acting. And then you're not really listening to what's going on. So now it's like the challenge, I guess, is to listen as you're trying to figure out this new dynamic on stage. Mm. Wow. Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. What, I mean, yeah, like, what, was, what were some of the hurdles that you guys went through? Same mode. She hit it on the head. Okay, she's like, I'm going yeah. to uh, hop on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, right? Brandon, anything else to add? No, I mean, I agree. Yeah, it's like, but again, it's just like, it comes down to like, to, I mean, we trust each other. It's like, we had like, for the first week, you know, we, we played brothers in the show. So it's like, we had the first week just us. And it's like, you know, we get to work together, we get to bond. And I, I didn't even know this was like, I w- we wouldn't have known. Like, it was his first time, like, doing a show and all this stuff. Not right. that it matters. But it's like, it's like, oh man, like this is so nice to like, come into it again after this year. I mean, I don't talk too much, whatever. There's no, yeah, that's the hard <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's a podcast. There is no There's talking no too much. You know what I'm saying? Bro. By the way, take a lot of pictures. You're going to want them. I'm telling you. Um, guys, and I want, uh, you know, everybody to answer. What works best for you when getting off book? Repetition, repetition, repetition. That's yeah. it. You just read it day in and day out. Day in, day out. Read it. Read both. Read my lines and the other people's lines because it can't hurt to know the other people's lines. Right. Because, you know, if, you know, in your scene, you're on stage, you have an audience and someone, you know, kind of like, sometimes you don't, it just happens in a split second. You're like, holy fuck, what's my line? I I completely forgot. And you got to be able to come in with the help and just, you know, help them, guide them them back onto where they are. And, um... Yeah, repetition, man. That's all I can say. Brandon, Josh, do you guys have any sort of like uh, special little things that you guys do uh, for memorizing lines? Yeah, but you got anything? Or? I, I dance. 
No weird stuff. I dance to my lines. Like, I dance to my lines? No weird what? stuff. What? Y'all here doing Hespins to... <laughs> y'all here doing ha- yeah. Hespins to Hamlet and shit, bro? Yeah. You're yeah. like grinding now. Yeah. Shakespeare. Hell yeah, bro. Shakespeare. All right. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's that slaps, yo. All right, all right. That's new, I like that. Brandon? Yeah, I mean, yeah, repetition. I don't. I might try dancing. Shit. Yo, same. Yo, for real. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, so I'm gonna do a damn yeah. moonwalk after you guys yeah, leave, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know, like, scene, damn, bro. that's yeah. beautiful. Repetition and like, uh, like again, something I'm trying like lately is like just like you improvise like stuff. So it's like I play it like you know, like I can't like I used to like sit down and read the lines because you're like fuck, this is what's important. You gotta get the lines right. right. That's it. And then you're not doing shit else. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then you're just saying it. So it's like to like you gotta move like okay, if the character's standing, alright, let me try and like stand and get used to like saying it here. Right. And that's what yeah. you say too. When we're playing you know, yeah, when we're playing because it's a physical thing too. Like when we of sit course. down and run lines, it's like, oh, why can't I remember this line we've said every night? Exactly. Oh, because I'm sitting the other night we were pushing each other, the other night right. we were standing. It's like right. it's a physical and a mental thing, man. The so physicality helps, like, yeah, definitely gives you together. a cue. Oh yeah, my god. Yeah. Yeah. So dance, I mean shit, yeah, that, it's And it could be the smallest thing, even a look mm-hmm. that you associate with that line. Yeah. Yeah. And you're always He's like, bro. You just brought up trauma. Dude. You just brought up trauma, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> All right. And last question from our mail time uh, segment. Do you feel a different type of responsibility when putting on a show that is having its world premiere? Yes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but like my process, whenever I get cast in a musical or in a play, I try to find all different types of resources, like what is it about just so I can get the gist of it. And now it's like, we're going to be those references. Mm-hmm. And that's a lot of weight on the shoulders, yeah, you know, yeah. like I never <laughs> thought I'd be here, you know, doing this and having a world premiere. And yeah. mm-hmm. it's so exciting. Yeah. It's it's yeah. more so exciting than it is scary. You know? Right. Yeah. Your names are on that script forever. Originally performed by, you know what I'm talking oh, about? Immortalized. Cool. Oh, immortalized. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cool. That is pretty cool, man. Yeah. Oh, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, what about you guys? Yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, I mean, again, it's like, for me, it was like, fuck, like, we get to create these characters first time. I can't, like, it's not stealing, but you look at other, you know, I looked at movies. Of and course, things, right. Because right. you're like, oh, maybe that'll work. Yeah, and it's like, like, oh, shit, like, no one's ever done this. So there's the pressure of it, like, okay, because it's never been done. And then it's like, okay, but, like, nah, like, we get to make it our own. Because no matter right. what we do, again, and we're different actors. So no matter course. what we do anyway, it's going to be different. No one's going to do it like of us. Of course. And then what we're doing now, where we're all out with our own, like, work, and we've all come so far from the beginning, it's like... Yeah, man, we just, we take control of it. It's fun. Mm. And we, we've all, like, fallen more for our own characters and stuff. So it's, right. like, it's just, yeah, it's, I love it. I think it's so cool. Josh? Yeah, it's like, you can't look ugly. Like, people gonna be looking at you <laughs> to help. Yeah, they sorry. gonna be, like, they gonna be looking at you to help. For real. Yeah, so right. it's like, no, nah, no, nah, yeah, world permit, do that. Do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Uh, Damn, that's absolutely uh, beautiful. Uh, yeah. Um, Do you, um... Do you feel that it's a challenge? Uh, just how you were talking about uh, when you have a character that's been performed before, you kind of have a fountain from which to feed off of. Mm-hmm. Almost, you know, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to make it seem as though you're acting like someone that did a show. Uh-huh. Um, but you definitely want to make your own choices. Is it more of a challenge for you, or does it kind of give you creative freedom? I would say the both. Okay. Both. It's def- it was de- at the beginning was most definitely a challenge because I, I didn't quite understand the character. I didn't my character. I, I didn't understand her. I didn't know where she was coming from. I didn't know why she was doing what she was doing. No matter how many times I read it, the, I mean the the playwright gives you why she's doing what she's doing, but what's the real reason behind what she's doing? So that was really really difficult. But then as rehearsals progressed and as we kept blocking, and now especially with the set being the set. And I, I was telling Brandon yesterday, it hit me earlier in the week, the vulnerable moments that I can have with her and the creative freedoms that I can have with her now. And now I'm just having a ball. Like within the past two days, I've made so many different choices. Right, Even okay. though like, we're in tech, we should already right. have everything solidified. I'm like, I'm going to try something different right now. <laughs> and if Danny says something, that's when I'll stop. But like, you know, you got to try. Yeah. You got to try new stuff. And it's really, really exciting. It's a whole different monster when you have the blocking, when you have the the, the actual mm-hmm. set, when you have the costumes. It's a playground. When man. the light, exactly. Yeah, it's a playground. What was some of the, the new things that you guys discovered when Tech Week hit? I think, 
Yeah, I honestly like what, like what Mel's saying. Like we had we had like you know it's a it's a I mean again it's a basic set. It takes place in an apartment. Um, so you know we got kitchen, we got you know couch, we got this stuff set up, and we didn't have that before. So we've been like moving around, like not knowing where this might be. You know we can't walk there, we can't hear. You know we open drawers and right. shit. Now a lot of pantomime. Hell yeah! <laughs> now we got like a fridge. I'm like, oh shit, what's in here? All right, well that's a scene. Like okay, fuck it. Like yeah. I'm thirsty. I live in my house. Like right. you know, like you, you make it home because you're like okay, I'm walking up. Especially like for me, my character is like this dude of like, you know like. If it's like if I had a mantra, it's like no, like I'm king, I'm king, bro. Like this is my shit. Like I, like I, like I fucking run this. So when I walk in, I'm like, all right, like, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Like I'm gonna lay out on the couch. I'm gonna like throw this here. It's it's fun, man, because I don't do that at home. Right. So it's like it's again, it's just a playground. We get to that's like the most discoveries. Cause we <laughs> it's that. so funny because I walk into that apartment and it's clearly not my house, and I'm doing whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'll sit on this couch. I'm gonna put my feet on this coffee table. <laughs> fuck. I don't give a fuck. That's the method, bro. That's the method. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you go. There you go. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't, I, I'm not doing fight choreography with him. I'll tell you that, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? Damn. Uh, Josh, talk to me a little bit about that. Uh, same thing, really. You find any new choices on uh, during Tech Week? You know, because, you know, like I said, there's just such a different feeling when you're about to go into a scene and the lights are there. You know, the light, you can see under the door, you can see the crack, the light is on. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole different ball game. Because we can be here all week long with the lights off and we can fuck around, but with the lights are on. It's invigorating. Oh, yes it is. Yo, like even at that callback, the moment that you actually put on the stage lights, yeah. I literally felt chills down my body. I'm like, oh, and we're back. Oh, and we're back, yes. Yo, all right. Damn. It felt real again. And just like when the stage lights go on right now and we're doing... The opening of the play, I'm not in it, but I even feel it when they're on stage oh. and I'm backstage and I'm just listening and I feel it. I'm like, oh my God, the ball is rolling. Let's that, go. That energy is just yes. so alive, everyone, you know? You know, yeah, it's like every, you know, like everyone's doing their thing. Everyone's, right. you know, we got the set designers, we got Danny Direction, we got Rod, you know, stage managing, killing it, and then lighting. Like everyone, it's just all that's the that's the fun of it, man. Everyone's doing their job so we can all make this one thing. It's all collaborative and it's mm -hmm. like everyone, everything happening is like, oh, this helps me. That's awesome. I'm not, you know, like we've been like every time we're done with the scene, it's like we're all trying to clean up, and they're like, no, 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 that shit. I'm like, no, I'm gonna do this shit. Hell I hate yeah. doing any, right? Any set, I'm like, I gotta help you guys. Come on, man. Like, I don't yeah, gotta, yeah I'm, bro. I know I'm, the act. I'm just the, I'm just the act. Like, fuck bro, that. this whole thing when it, when you're on a set and it's like the techies are picking up everything, and yeah. I'm over here like on yeah. IG. Yeah. I feel like, like a piece of shit. If they're right, it's like, bro. Like, it's like, bro. Like, <laughs> it's like, like, I gotta clean up after myself. That's how my mom raised me. Holes in the wall. Like, come on, yo. They're over here cleaning the plaster and everything now. Bro, yeah. um, wow. Talk to me a little bit about the behind the scenes crew. You were talking about Danny directing. Mm -hmm. uh, you were talking about the stage manager. Talk to us a little bit about that. Oh gosh, they're so great. I have um, this is my first time working with Danny as a director. Okay. And um, with big Rada. shout out prior guests. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. saw gang, that episode. Gang. Big gang. Yeah. <laughs> so it's my first time working with them, and you know it's always a little nerve wracking working with new people that you've like you've heard around in the South Florida theater community because you know we're a tight knit community. Oh, of course. Um, sure. So it was my first time working with them, and I, I love Danny's directing style. I really do. Every rehearsal started with this 10 minute warm up, nice. and you really were really super warm. And sweaty and ready to go and he is so collaborative so like for example if something was going on and he wasn't sure about how to go about it he would hear our thoughts oh okay. and if it worked he loved it and i love that because most directors don't do that <laughs> big, that's a, that's a Yo, fact ego is such a big thing so yeah. like and the thing is like danny he is so upfront about what you know he wants from us and what he needs us to do. So I really, really respect that. And Rod has been such a pillar of just like calm, like con calma, everything. Oh, it was, wow. he's so good, even giving us notes with our lines. It's Oof. just like, you guys are great, but here it is. And one more time, you guys are doing a great top and job. Like he's like so right. encouraging, which I really love. And honestly, yeah. our crew, like Amanda doing the lights and sound, like she, and the set too. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, yeah. She did the that set. set design. Oh, yo. I really have to give her a shout out because that set Please is something that. else. Okay, okay. That is something else because you walk in there and it looks like a home. Right. Like there's no question about where you are. Right. 100%. Yeah. And yeah. Carbon Ellis, what's up, baby? What's up? What's up? We out here. Uh, <laughs> um, big shout out to the set designer. Um, I saw you guys are doing a phenomenal job in that department. Uh, talk to us a little bit about how important do you feel that it is for an actor's costumes or what they wear on stage to be something that they're comfortable with? Oh, I mean, well, it's like comfort. I mean, yeah, comfort. Like, yeah, if I'm like, if you're doing some stuff, yeah, I'd want to be able to move. But I think it's like you, the, anytime you do a role, it's like when you get the costume, you, I look forward to it. Cause you're like, all right, that's going to, that's going to influence it instantly. The second, you know, if you're lucky, it's like, 
Like we even had, I sometimes I hate bringing my own stuff in because like, no, nah, fuck that, I wear that. But it helps, it helps. Right. So like, we got a shirt for me. Like again, I won't, I won't spoil that because God knows it's gonna be something. <laughs> like, but yeah, it's like it's not my taste and it's not my style. I put it on for the first time and I was telling them, I was like, this is this is interesting though because it's humbling for me, Brandon, because I wouldn't wear this shit. <laughs> and I know it's a different time period, but it's also I'm like, okay, but this is what this, like it helps. Like oh, this is probably what other people think of him. So it's like. It helps that I haven't been going that route. Mm-hmm. I know it, it helps you get into it. Like it, you're like, okay, this is what this person lives like. They woke up and was like, I'm gonna wear this shit. Like, mm-hmm. or this is their go-to. Mm-hmm. And then you're moving in that. So it's like it almost affects. It does affect the way you move if you're lucky. Like it's it becomes the character. Really. Right. Do you kind of do you feel that you you kind of transform the character when you get into the costume? Oh yeah. A lot of people feel that way. Yeah. Do you? Yes. Um, yes, definitely. However, like my costume, like half of my costume is what I wear like on a daily basis. Okay. So like it's 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 not all that right. much different for me. Um, except for like, you know, 06 was the early two thousands was the low rider jeans. And that's oh, yeah. like the only thing that's like out of like Shout out wanted. shout out Echo Unlimited, you know what I'm saying? So that's like the one thing. What? What? Okay. Yo, but that's like the one thing that I wouldn't wear out of normal, but like normal, like day to day. But I love it. Yo, I, I saw my costume. And I'm like, I want to swipe that shirt after this. Like, I really hey. like it. I would wear that every day. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about. So yeah. About yeah. Yeah. Guys, talk to me about the difference. You know, if there's one thing that uh, people that are not in the industry are very curious to know. Um, the di- uh, besides the obvious differences, the vast differences when performing for theater and for film and why uh, you guys are currently pursuing theater or are you also pursuing film? Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, um, actually, so during the pandemic, I was cast in a short, pl- in a short film, I okay. mean, um, with actually a buddy of mine who was in the cast of Church and State with me prior to the pandemic. Very cool. Yeah. If you have a poster, send it over. You see it on the screen or let me know the name. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Yo, for real. Thank you very we'll much. Um, and it was a ton of fun. And working with a camera is so different. However, I do have to say, coming, f- I would rather come from theater and go to film rather than the other way around. Mm-hmm. You can always bring it back. Because in theater, you're always told you have to have the back wall hear you. Right. And if they don't, then you're not doing it right. Right. But in film, they're right up here in your face with a camera and you right. like you can whisper. Right. And it's like no problem whatsoever. And they get every single word, yeah. every single moment. Oh, if you whisper, you might as well get a damn Oscar, bro. Nowadays, Yo. if you whisper, that's an Oscar. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and it's 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 There were definitely a couple times where my director was just like Tone it back just a little. I'm like, yo, I'd rather be told to tone yeah. it back and then 100%. come a little more. Right. You know? right. Cause then you got, I mean, I'm not gonna take shots at anybody, but you got like Kevin Jonas on Broadway or whatever, and, or, or you know, the Jonas brothers. Yeah. And it's like, I love you, brother, but I can't hear you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, um He's on Broadway now? No, he was, he was, oh. he was, he was. Mm-hmm. Um, talk to me, what about uh you guys, your experience as far as film theater? <laughs> yeah, I so I um I've done both. I, I've always wanted to do film. Like, I came from theater also. Like, that's where I started acting, I guess. But, like, I, I've done short films mostly. Like, I, when I was um, in school for masters before COVID, I was doing, like, short films. And that was, like, the main study there. So, like, that was always the transition. And like she said, it is, yeah, for me, yeah, definitely, like, going from theater to be, like, getting, like, big, big. And then to be, like, okay, now you can, like, you're allowed to, like, take it down or, like, right, take those right. moments. Uh, and I, this is the first theater thing I've done, like, theater, theater, since... Maybe since graduating, like uh, a few years ago, uh, I'm a lot older than I look, but uh, yeah, no, I'm not twelve. He's actually forty five. <laughs> yeah. Really good. He but, got that Benjamin Buttons, bro. Yeah. For real, yeah. bro. Shout, yeah. out, shout out Benjamin Dang. Buttons, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, for me, like I I love them both, and it's like, what do they say? It's like uh, films for directors and then theaters for actors. Mm. But honestly, it's like they're they're their own things. It's like I when I'm doing film, it's like I try to do the same stuff for character. Um, that I would for theater. It's just a matter of how you go about performing it, I guess. It's right. like, you know, there's a different style, really. But I, I love them both. I love film because like, movies are where I like found love for anything. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, they both have their place, man. They're fucking... You know. Very cool, very yeah. cool. Yeah, 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 it's a different ball game. Um, mm-hmm. Did a film earlier this year, Fun and Fancy Free, Michael Crop. Okay. Five, nine, two, seven. Boom, we big shout out. Man. Big <laughs> shout out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's a whole different ball game. Um, just the live reaction you get in theater. It's, to me... Mm-hmm. Live theater way better than film. Right. It's like cracky. Don't add oh, up. yeah. <laughs> Bro, put, yeah. put that shit right there. Yeah, you know I was what I'm saying? For oh. it. Yeah, Hell yeah. Way better. The energy, the crowd, the 
lot. The, mm. It's just it, mm. it's going on on the stage. Yeah. It's right. Going down on the stage. Damn. So, there's, no, has, there's no pause. There's no cut. You know. It's like right. You got right. Emotional. It's like yeah. this. It's like you got to do the whole thing one way through. Like, exactly. Yeah. Fuck up. I can't right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. 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 We're not taking fifteen out here. Yeah. No, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. I'll be in my trailer. Like. No. Like, guys, I am so very ecstatic that you guys are actually gonna have an audience. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's a luxury that most mm-hmm. people cannot say. Mm-hmm. Talk to me about what it's going to be like to be able to experience a live audience. Oh, it's exhilarating. Oh, uh, yeah, I, like, I mean, it's just like a sense memory right now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, there's nothing like it, man. It really, it's a different type of high, you know? You're just, you, at one moment, you just, it's not you on stage, it's the character. Right. And, and you feel yeah. that the audience leaning into it too and it's just this amazing like no drug can ever make you feel that type of way Fact. and it's just there's nothing like it and, mm. it and you have to be so passionate about it to be able to feel that way mm-hmm. you know brandon what do you feel about uh there being a uh, an audience yeah i i agree i mean it's again it's it's like it's like uh josh is saying too there's an it's an energy about it it's like you're they're, you know, they're experiencing it with you as opposed to like, oh, you know, I did this and you get to watch it later and that's still something in a theater. Of course. Like a movie theater. But, you know, yeah, it's like you feed off, you know, it's like maybe a line that has never gotten a laugh gets a laugh. And like, oh, shit, that feels different. Like, right. You know, like, yeah. you know, or you discover, you know, someone does something else, you discover something at night and you hear the audience like, oh, fuck this guy. And you're like, yeah, that's what I fucking want. You know, like whatever yeah. it is, it's like there's... It's, a, it's like palpable, I guess. Yeah. It's like yeah. word of, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's, it's like nothing Bro, that's the best like, thing. When you got laughter off a line that you never expect the laughter yeah. off of, oh, you're like, so damn. Good. That's that. <laughs> that's a two drink minimum right there, oh, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's <laughs> bro. Thank you. Yo, oh, oh my God. Um, <laughs> that's like what? the best feeling in the world, though. Right. Like, to make somebody laugh, oh. like just give joy to somebody, mm-hmm. especially live. Like a big like, cackle. What? Yeah. And they paid for it. Here and they're paying for it. And actually, very funny you mentioned that. What is the contrast that you feel? Uh, do you feel more accomplished as an actor when you make someone, when you elicit laughter from someone or tears from someone? Oh, gosh, absolutely. Tears. Yeah, tears, tears and laughter. Right. It's a fine line between them, you know? Very. Uh, and it's just, whew, the pa- it's almost like you have a little bit of a power over it, you know? Right. And it's like, I got you in my little hands. <laughs> and I'm going to make you laugh and cry, both of them at the same time. <laughs> and it's going to be wonderful. Right. And it's just, it's like, sometimes also, like, I don't find my, I don't fancy myself a comedian. I don't think I'm that funny. But then if I can make someone laugh, I'm like, ooh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so, I mean, and then if I can make people cry, though, to make them feel what I'm feeling, that too, you know? Like, mm-hmm. thank you for letting me bring you into my world. Mm. That's what it is. Brandon, what does it feel like for you? Oh man, I, yeah, I think for me, and again, this, I keep saying it's like it's new because I've just come out of like this new stuff I'm learning from these teachers. It's like I'm trying new stuff, especially since we're like first time since COVID. So it's like I'm trying new shit, but you know, you want to keep growing. I think like what I've been trying to do is like, you don't want to think about the audience necessarily. Like I don't want to go out and be like, all right, I got to make them laugh on this line. Oh, they're, I'm of gonna, course, this, yeah. this part says I'm going to get angry. I'm going to get so fucking angry. They're going to cry. <laughs> they're going to lose their minds. But it's, it's nice when they feel it. It's, if they feel anything, like there's also times where we've done a run. And someone's like, oh, that was good. And I'm like, and I'm the mind before I'm done. I'm like, that was so shit. And they're like, oh, good job on that thing. I'm like, what the fuck were you seeing? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, it's a perception thing. So it's like, but you can't, you know, I can't, you, can, you just can't think about it. So it's, it's that balance because you get the energy. You're feeding off it, you know, especially if there's like a heightened scene or something. You're going to hear people maybe gasp or something, whatever it right. is. But it's just, it's nice to be able to be like, no, it's like the focus on the character and the focus on like this guy, the focus on her, the focus on what I'm doing helps because then it's like that's only going to give them something else and again it's like you never know because like i'm doing something i hate someone's like oh that was really good or someone you do something you love and someone's like i don't even what well, was in looking who cares like whatever mm. so it's yeah it's like it's like a balance i think for me but i but i love it i love having an audience regardless like mm, you know yeah. I, I want the attention josh <laughs> um, <laughs> Looking to make someone cry. Like, it's easy to laugh, like ha ha ha. You know, <laughs> be lying. How do you laugh? Easy to laugh. <laughs> <It's easy> to, <laughs> laugh. <laughs> to make somebody cry, you gotta hit a nerve. Like, Oof, yeah. you gotta. Mm-hmm. It's like I feel like they'll forever appreciate you for that. Like you just took them back. I don't know. Whatever you did to them, you did to them. You made them cry, and it yeah. was. Yeah. Yo, who are you hanging out with that laughs like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. 
Yeah. <laughs> they bring their own stuff too. Like and not like again, it's like a perception. Like someone coming in with this with this story specifically, they're gonna bring their own stuff to it. Because yeah, yeah, we're yeah, telling yeah, the story. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, it'll just, resonate with yeah. that person. Yeah, in that's way. the job. So if they cry, okay, they had a person who maybe dealt with that. It's like you know, that's the thing. It's like, like what he's saying. It's just right. I love it though. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, every single week, you know what I'm talking about. We have three. I said three segments, uh, and the second one is actually the ma 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 movie review of the week. You know what I'm talking about? And in this beautiful segment, we ask our beautiful guests for a suggestion, a recommendation. You know what I'm saying? Let's say you got a mass, you got the uh, masses, 10,000 people in front of you. You know what I'm saying? They got to burn time for two, two and a half hours. Hey, what's a movie? What's a TV show? Uh, Sarah J recommended adult film. You know what I'm saying? Anything that you want to recommend to these masses of people, what would it be? Mm, right mm. now, I'm actually watching um, a TV show called This Way Up on oh, Hulu. Okay. And uh, it is hysterical. Okay. It's so funny. It's British humor, so very dry, very quick-witted. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. Y'all in the mood to laugh your ass off? Watch Always. that. You said Yo, this, this Way Up? This Way, this up, way up. It's on Hulu. Hulu. I Honestly, I'm the, like, I never watch new shit, ever. I, am, I love repeating my shows. But I watched the trailer. I don't know what came over me. I watched it and I was like, yeah, whatever. Let's put it on. <laughs> and I was sucked in within the first 10 minutes of the episode. I was like, oh my God, this shit is hysterical. Okay. Out of, uh, out of five stars, how many would you give it? Oh, seven. Okay. Mm. All right. All right. All right. All the right. relationships. The char- I mean, the actors. I mean, come on. You, when there's hot actors on TV and you're just uh, like. Bruh. Like, can I act with that? Yeah. Like, what's going on? Yeah. Bro, oh. Shout out Hillary Duff. Yo. Oh. Gang, <laughs> gang. Bro, gang. Brandon, talk to me. Oh, man. Yeah. You, yeah, that's my favorite question. No, I mean, <laughs> I I just watched, like, two movies recently for this for this preparation, for, like, this character finding shit. Um, one I've seen a million times. One of my favorite movies. I will recommend it because I don't know why no, most people don't know about it. It's called Warrior. It's Tom oh, Hardy. Fuck oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bro, yeah. Bro, no, but here's the thing. Banger, I didn't know most people fucking know it. It's so what? good, and again, good. it's like a it's a, the hard bits of the yeah, 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 It's about one. MMA fighting, but it's yeah. the acting and the, you, you fucking Tom yeah. Hardy's a yeah, like bro. Trap Bane, Bane would get his day. ass. Oh, Bane wouldn't get his ass kicked by Tom Hardy in that movie. But it's, no, like, that's but it's, true, but it's good, man. It didn't like oh, do well, yeah. whatever. Like it's so the acting, man. Like that's a masterclass. Yeah, Joel yes. Edgerton too is crazy. Ooh. I mean, it's nuts. That and then I also it's an oldie, but I just watched it for the first time and it couldn't come in a perfect time. I just watched Raging Bull. Oh, oh yeah. wow. De Niro? De Niro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. I've never Hell seen it before. Yeah. Again, because I'm looking at like fighting room, just trying to find something for this. And I'm like, I'm like, this is acting. I'm okay. like, ah. like, I don't know. Yeah, bro. Like, De Niro's I'm, out here somewhere. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Boom. Boom. Yo, he's right here. He's in spirit. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, How's it going? Yeah. How's it going? But no, but yeah, I mean, those, I've just watched them recently and I've never seen Raging Bull before. I couldn't recommend it more. Scorsese killed it. And I, but yeah, man, I don't know. Like, they're just like. The Hell character yeah. work. It's like, they're great movies. And it's like the fact that fighting or whatever the story is, the secondary thing. It's right. about these relations. They're both similarly about brothers' relationships. Right. Right. Can't recommend them enough. Like, check both of those out. How many oh, yeah. stars? Warrior and what was the second Raging one? Bull. Raging Bull. Raging Bull. Bro, what was, the, what was the meter? Five. Five stars. Okay. <laughs> it's like, fuck your meter, bro. It's just too low. Yeah, I don't even, yeah, like, I don't want Scorsese, because I know Scorsese, you'll see this eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Damn right, he will. Yeah, yeah, bro. No, but, Facts. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I'll give him like 10. I mean, like, Warrior, yeah. But, yeah, they're both amazing, man. Yeah, Dude, I Warrior, what up. a fucking banger of a movie. And I'm I stumbled onto that one on Netflix one night. Yeah. I don't even oh, remember yeah. how. Yeah, yeah. I, don't I, mean, I hope it's on there. Josh, yeah. what do you got for us? You know, I don't really watch TV. I don't. I don't know. I don't. It could be music, TV, movies. We've any, had you, albums. We've yeah. had albums. You know what I'm saying? Any any sort of media. We've had anime. We've, we've had, had like we've had anime. Right? Any any oh, sort of video games too. We've yeah, had, we've had video, We had a video game producer suggest. You know what I'm saying? Any sort of media that you're into. When you're not putting in work on that script, you know what I'm saying? I know you got to put it down at some point. You know what I'm saying? What do you do? Ah, uh, what I recommend. Go on Instagram. Okay. And type in Lil Two Turn, L I L dot T O O T U R N T. Boom. Just scroll through there. You good? You gonna? You think you? You ain't gonna wake up for work the next morning? <laughs> Damn, that's a bold statement. Uh, okay. I mean, Lil Two Turn. How many stars does Lil Two Turn get? <laughs> How many stars in the galaxy? How many stars in the universe? I like that. I like that. Okay. Damn. You got it like that. Well, you see it on the screen. You know what I'm saying? That's a beautiful, beautiful segment. Thank you for those suggestions. You know Hell what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. Guys, talk to me about, uh, you know, just how you were mentioning the 
uh, what it is to have live theater. You know, you start and you run it. You run it to the end, no matter what happens. Mm-hmm. Someone sure breaks, bro, someone breaks their leg halfway through, tough shit. You, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you got to, exactly. Stuff. Break a leg, exactly. Break a leg, guys. <laughs> but talk to me, tell me some stories of you when. You got to be careful with that one, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, break yeah, your yeah. Arm. You heard that shit, man. The cast got you. <laughs> 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 out here dropping bars okay i like it i like it talk to me about some stories um and it doesn't really have to pertain to this uh production but any production that you guys have been a part of where something uh that wasn't supposed to happen something that didn't go according to plan happened and you had to improvise because baby it's theater oh my god mm. so i mean it happens in every show that you of do a hundred percent so it's like just trying to choose one um, <laughs> Uh, my senior year at New World, we were doing a Vita, and uh, it was closing day. Closing day, and I, I played Ava. Damn, hit me with that don't cry from yeah. me, Argentina. What? Maybe another time. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> gotta, gotta leave a little mystery. Of um, course. But yeah, so we're doing a scene, and there's a time where like these flies come in with these signs, and that's cool. They came down at the right time, and then at one point when Ava dies... I went onto the balcony. The flies were still Spoiler there. Alert. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. That's what I was just Yo, saying. She's a, she's a, she's a, she's a historical. <laughs> if, you, if you haven't watched it by now, bro, you don't know late. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you haven't watched the Madonna yeah. movie, then like, yeah. whatever. But yeah, the fly, like at the end, I'm on the balcony and I'm supposed to be singing this lament. Right. The flies were still there. The signs were still there. So you're like, what in the hell is happening? So you have to find your light. And that was actually not even the craziest one. Actually, I just remember this one. We're in the middle of doing a dance break in the song Buenos Aires. My mic pack fell down through my corset, down my leg, and was wrapping around my leg oh, as I'm dancing. Dude. And there's this one part, and I'm, I'm not going to get it because I don't have too much room here, but <laughs> there's a part, literally, I don't even know what went through me. I just swiped it up and just kept going and held it in my hand the rest of the song. Like it's a Walkman. Yo, yeah, 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 you yeah, gotta yeah. just keep going. Yeah. In that moment, it's like, yeah, you're Ava, but I'm like, Melissa in the inside is like, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, what's gonna happen? This mic is gonna hit someone in the audience, it's gonna pop off, it's gonna, I'm gonna get sued. Like, I don't know what the fuck is gonna happen. <laughs> and then I got off stage and it's just like, you black out. It's like, you almost black out when you're on stage yes. and you get off stage, you're like, just get this mic pack back on me. I don't even know what the hell's going on anymore. Like, right. it's fine. I'm just uh, hoping it never happens again. <laughs> right. Oh my God. Brandon, talk to me. What's a story of turmoil, of unexpectedness in the world of theater? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm a consummate professional. I don't think I've ever fucked up in my life. Oh, so humble. Oh God, yeah, can't wait till you see this one. But, uh, <laughs> no, I think I did a show, I did, like, uh, before COVID, we did uh, Miami Motel Stories. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, like, interactive theater, which I've never done. It's not, like, my favorite thing, because I'm, like, I prefer to have a distance. I'm, like, let me do it, and then I can go home. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Right. Like, but um, we did a thing. It was me and uh, a buddy of mine. We came real close, at, and we were these teenagers in, a, in the motel, and basically our bit was, like, would come in the, the diner, and there were just people who would walk around. So we had a scene, we had dialogue, and we did stuff, and we had beats, like, I'm sitting, he comes in, talks to me, and people can watch us interact. Right. But, you know, people are drinking, people, you know, they don't care. And, like, <laughs> we're doing it. And, like, and it's Miami. People are fucking, you know, they're having a good time. And shout so, out Miami audiences. Miami. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Thank you all. No. I sense some shade. I sense yeah. some shade. No, but, you know, yeah, because it's, like, interactive. Like, on a stage, you can't, like, someone calls on the stage, like, just kick them off. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> this, you know, I'm sitting in a booth. People are, you're sitting with people. You're using them almost. So, it's, like, there are nights where people are drunk and people, like, I think we had one girl, um we're doing a scene and she just kept like saying stuff to him. She was like, she's like, where are you from? What are you doing? Oh my God, they're, look at them. And, I, and I'm like, and it's not about the lines. I don't even, you know, we're just saying shit, but it's like, all right, like relax. <laughs> let me just, let me just get to this Was she like thing. related to you or something? Like, oh no, my God, no. look at my little boy. No, 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 if it was my mom, I'd be like, like come outside. She was pretty <laughs> I love you too. I'm not, I'm in character. Right now. <laughs> but yeah, like that kind of stuff. Again, that was very specific. It's interactive. But yeah, we have people like, you know, they right. want to be a part of it. And it's like, there's the one that that's fun. And then with that kind of scenario, it's like the ones that are like, you know, like, okay, I'm just going to, I'm a part of it now. This is kind of, I'm an asshole. And it's like, you're just messing with people. So not, not a shit at all. Like it was just only a couple times, but that's the most recent one I remember. Like people just messing with you because they're with you. in the Right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah. Josh, I know this is your first production, but uh, tell me any sort of uh, tales from school. Uh, I, okay. Uh, um, see, I can't even... 
My shoes was on the wrong foot one time. But <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. the, that's the most I can. Yeah? Yeah. Man, that's uncomfortable walking, bro. Man. <laughs> dancing. Oh, dancing. Good Damn. News. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't really give you any newbie. You know, he needs some more. That, is that the, the man's prepared, bro? The man's prepared. Hell he's not yeah. gonna, you know what I'm saying? He's not, he's not messing around. I like you know that. What I'm saying? I like that. Game face. Game face. <laughs> game face. 100. percent uh, Before we get into our last uh, segment of the show, guys, if there's one thing that I want to ask, uh, as well as everything that you know that I've asked, um, <laughs> this is, what it's all is about. yeah, yeah, is um, <laughs> what have you guys learned from yourself uh, from diving into your characters, if there is anything. <sighs> about myself if there is anything don't feel forced i don't know if there's much that i learned about me as just a person but as an actor um once again advocating for your characters that's always a lesson to learn and it's you're always learning how to advocate because every character is different you're gonna have have to advocate them for them in different manners and in different ways and I, like I said, recently, I just figured out how to do that for my character. And because it, it takes so much, like you, one, yes, you have to learn the lines, you have to learn the blocking, all that good stuff. And then you really have to dive into the why is this happening? What is the reason behind all of this? Like, why is this play happening right now? So I guess I learned a lot as an actor, especially having such a big, hi a long hiatus right. um, from it. So it was really nice to just kind of dive back in. It wasn't like dipping my toe back in. No, like we straight up did like a big just like yeah. dive in. That cannonball. And, yeah, yeah, man, a big giant cannonball yeah. and make as big a splash as you can because, yeah. yo, if you're not, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> right. Yeah? Oh, that's beautiful. Josh, Brandon, talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, I mean, yeah, like Melissa said too, as an actor, I think uh, definitely just like, just more like connecting with it. Cause I, I, I found stuff I connected with him and I was, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to say I'm like that, but it's like, right. damn, like, I understand where he's coming from. Right. But I, I think with, again, cause it's like I said, people see him in a way that I wasn't seeing him at a certain point, which is helpful. But I guess I learned like, uh, I don't know. I think there's a, there's a, the way he goes about things, I think it's kind of helped me cause He's a bit of an angry dude, and I think like okay, like look, like seeing the way he goes about the show, the way he treats people, I'm like, okay, sometimes I get a little upset, sometimes I, I you know, you, you go a little far, sometimes it's like okay, maybe like it's like not, I guess it's humbling. It's nice to be like okay, like I see where this guy goes. I don't, you know, you see the bad parts of, of where a person can go right. when, when they don't like deal with stuff. That's really what it is. I think there's uh -huh. like all this Amen. stuff not dealt oh, yeah. with, so it's like oh, like it's you know, this is like a version of a person who hasn't has a lot of baggage, mm, and it's like yeah. this is where that's gonna go. You know, my what I mean? therapist is gonna get a kick out of this. Episode. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, so, shout out therapist, bro. Therapy, for real. Yo. Bro, actors were your bread and butter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, yo. We all need therapy, uh, yeah. whether you think it or not. Josh, talk to me. Uh, I didn't really learn much, I mean, but as an actor, I feel growth. Okay. It's a part mm -hmm. of feeling of the vulnerability because my, my, char my character, oh, man. Ooh. Got a lot? Yeah, he got a lot going on. Oh, man. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna disclose too much, but you know, I, I just feel an, some growth in okay. that area. That's beautiful. So, so, That's yeah. beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, every single week, you know what I'm talking about? We have three, I said three segments. Uh, and the last one is actually the uh, quest for the truth. You know what I'm talking about? And in this beautiful segment, we pick a random emphasis on the word random card from this here deck of cards. And we ask everybody, not only our guests, the question on said card. And here we go okay deception bro, every time have us hanging on every oh. word <laughs> is deception that's why he does that okay here's the thing we've had a lot of these questions happen already that's why i kind of go through the a He's couple on Ryan. It's like where were you last week right. five o'clock uh, <laughs> oh, i got a good one all right and this one will be i'm not gonna make any assumptions you know what i'm not gonna make any assumptions they could be current or they could be past you know mm -hmm. but here we go What's the wildest party you've ever been to? Mm. For legal reasons, I can't answer. That. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not at Just legal li liberty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, prom. Prom? Yes. Prom? Year, oh, States. shit. Prom yeah. was just right now. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah a few months ago. Okay. So, um, so he's still recovering. <laughs> 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 no, he's still no, got an no, IV no, trip. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Just, I'm a good kid. You know, let me tell you, this is like my real, like, 
that going to that party, that was my first time going to a party, party, party. Like, okay. You don't even know these people. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you know, I'm a good kid. You know, I'd be in a church house. Respect. Yeah. Uh, I'd be in a church. That's side eye. Um, <laughs> yeah, dude, I used to go to church camp every year, too, yeah. man. Yeah, so you it was fun, dude. Yeah. What kind of church yeah. did you go to? Bible class, all of them. Bible studies, <laughs> all of them. <laughs> but when I walked in, you know, oh man, I I, I looked to the left. It's this girl on the couch. <laughs> no, it's like, oh, this that type of party. I never been in that before. Preach, you know, yo. Man, okay, you know, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna just go to the backyard. They wilding in the house. They tripping. <laughs> Get to the back. <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. Oh, um, you know what? Oh, in the backyard, man. yeah. 100%. Yeah, the backyard is worse. It's yeah. open. I didn't know that. Don't nobody <laughs> told me. Oh, the backyard bro. worse. I wish I we, can, we can break that furniture. I would have given you <laughs> a hand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we put man. it out there for that. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I, I can't break the couch. Like five minutes. <laughs> ah, yeah. 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 Call me lame. Call me boo boo. But no, no, no. That ain't my. That ain't my. <laughs> That's not your season. <laughs> all right. All right. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Brandon, hey, talk to me. What is the wildest party you've ever been to? Yeah, I, that was me on the couch at that party. <laughs> <laughs> so we put a wig on me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't know what was going on, bro. Um, I was a method actor for real. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That, that's coming soon. Coming soon. He was going. For, he was going for your role. Yeah, yeah. He was going for your role. Yeah. Coming for your. Try me. Try me. I will. Fight you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, I yeah. I guess like yeah. It's been a minute since like a crazy part. Like I've been out and like with the last year. But I guess yeah. Probably college was like the cr one of the crazier ones. Was like uh yeah. It was like a we like a friend had like a huge like an open house. You know like big like a what what do you call like a big backyard again. Like you know like so no one was really in the house. Open like front yard. Like no parent. Whatever. You know we're like call them whatever age. Whatever. And like. I, I get there, like, you know, everyone's already wasted, you're doing thing, there's a pool, so everyone's doing that shit. Yeah, yeah. At one point, so, <laughs> at one point, bro, a um, bunch of people are in the bushes, I'm chilling with someone else, like, just hanging out, we're drinking, and everyone's, like, in the like in the bushes, this is, like, hours into it, and, like, I, like they're started, they're like, alright, skinny dipping, so everyone's stripping <laughs> off, and, Damn. like, you know, you got the people, like, going, Damn. I'm skinny, but I'll go in the, like, I'll go see whatever we're doing. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. And bro, like, that's them voyeurs, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. And, that, and that right there, <laughs> Josh, is what you missed. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, like, the craziest part was, like, I'm, like, I'm not, like, I'm just, like, I'm, I'm like, are they, is that what they're doing? Like, you know, so people, like, run from the trees. They're going into the pool. I'm, like, okay, everyone's naked. And then, like, one dude, a buddy of mine, like, fuck ass naked. I'm, like, <laughs> and it's, I'm, like, I don't want to skate. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And, like, he's, like, yeah, he's, yeah. like, no, it's like, in the pool. He's fucking wasted. <laughs> and I'm drunk, too. Fucking chase me. Fucking around. I'm that guy. Naked. Hell, yeah. Bro, That's hysterical. I remember, yeah. bro, I was fast as fuck. I was, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> But it was funny. I ended up jumping the pool with like just shorts on, but it was oh, like, yeah. that shit was crazy. You always Damn. keep your drawers on. Yeah. And I learned that yeah. one time because I went, I jumped in, and then they took all of my clothes. <gasps> yeah. Really? So then you're just there for, you know. You're scared. Yeah. I was trash, so confidence out the guilt. But <laughs> two hours naked, after a while, you're like, all right, yeah. dude, it's getting a little drafty out here. Yeah. Hypothermia yeah. yeah. started to kick sure, in, bro. bro. You know what I'm nah, I, was, I, think I, I think I left, I was wearing the curtains. Mm. Oh, nah. Toga. That's beautiful. Yeah, hell yeah. Sound oh, yeah. music up that, in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be hard to beat. Melissa, talk to us. What's been the heart of the wildest oh. party you've ever been to? Yo, okay, so there was a lost weekend my freshman year. A lost mm. week. I so love I that. So I can't really Man. talk about lost that one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there was definitely a lost weekend, uh, of which I will not speak of. But the craziest party actually was one that I threw. Ooh. It was my first house party. Hell yeah. My parents were out of town. I was 20 and That's I was right. like, fuck Oof. it, it's time. It's time. And my best Ooh, friend right. who went to FSU at the time, she was in town and all of her buddies from FSU were in town as well. Shout so out was, Knowles. Yeah, yeah I, I was just like, I was like, bring them on over. I don't oh, give a fuck. Shit. And yo, you know FSU is a party school. Yeah, so they, they know how to party. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, we decided to pregame. My best friend, her boyfriend, this, one of his friends and myself, we decided to pregame by playing Cards Against Humanity and taking <laughs> shots of Fireball every time we lost. Which oh, is like, fuck. Yeah. Um, Damn. By 10 p.m., we were fucked up. Hell yeah. Respect. And people didn't show up until 10.30. So, I, like I'm telling you, I don't really know what happened at that party. All I know is at some point, a baby bottle showed up. What? A so baby liquor? bottle showed oh, up. Baby. No, no babies, though. No babies. no babies. And I take it. I'm like, what's in here? And they're like, tequila. And as, I, as they're saying that, I'm drinking. And I'm like, it tastes like water. That's how drunk you know oh, I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So, mistakes have been made. Oh, oh yeah. mistakes were very much made because <laughs> no. um, all I remember next is my friend tucking me in into my parents' bed because they were oh. using my bed. 
Uh, I wake up at 7 a.m. and uh, had to let some of it go. Had a three-day hangover. Oh. That's a good friend right there. Yo. That's a good you. friend. Yeah, and I could not eat anything but carrots. Oh. I don't know why. Choice. Like the regular like <laughs> hangover food. Like I tried eating Taco Bell. Nope. Couldn't say I couldn't eat anything, but for some reason carrots were the only thing. Wow. Carrots, huh? Yeah. I don't think I've ever used carrots. Carrots, that's the right life hack right there. Yo. That's a life hack. At least for me it was. There you go. <laughs> Emmy, what is the wildest party you've ever been to? Um I gotta think of the statute of limitation on certain <laughs> <laughs> Talk about um, a nice intro. No. I mean, what, uh, an awesome party we went to was uh, college, of course. Texas right. State University. Shout out Bobcats. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck FSU. We party harder. <laughs> um, and ASU. Fuck you guys. Um, it was uh, it's like townhomes. So uh, it's the, the school I went to was 30 minutes outside of Austin, Texas. So it's a small little town. It's like 60,000 people, 60% uh, of which are students. So a small little town. Um. So all of the apartments are really student housing. So you had like shitty townhomes, which is where I stayed, cheap rent. And then you had like these nice four-story townhomes and shit like that. So we go to one of these parties and it's that party you're talking about. You walk in, you don't know anybody. I actually had to bullshit my way in through the front door. <laughs> it's like a frat party or something like that. And I was like, yeah, bro, you know, we do fucking poli side together. And you have to get their little drunk so they believe you. <laughs> and they were like, oh, fuck, yeah, bro, of course. <laughs> so uh, we go in, you know, we're having a great time. And then um, we, we ran out of cooler space. So I got the brilliant idea of dumping all the ice in the washing machine and just storing beer and bottles in there. Because, I mean, it's a washing machine, you know. Yeah. It'll, it'll go anyway. Yeah. So the problem was at some point it ran out and we were trashed. It was like 3, 4 in the morning. The cops had been there 4 or 5 times. <laughs> Uh, and then we had this back patio that was on a second story and uh, we were really drunk uh, and the homeowners weren't there to protect their equipment. So we got really trashed and we just threw the fucking washing machine out the back because <gasps> oh we were like, we want more God. beer. We just fucking raged. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it was a disaster, bro. At yeah. some point I was wearing a hat that was on fire, too. I oh. don't. Wow. Someone brought up like, bro, your hat's on fire. And I'm like, yeah, bro, I know it's fire. And they're like, no. <laughs> Nah, that's a look, bro. It's that's like a look. that scene in Euro Trip. Oh, that's what it was. It's like that scene in Euro Trip where they put the Pope hat oh, on. Oh my god, like a palm bro. frond hat, oh, and it was someone yeah. lit it on fire at some point. I didn't know. It was an that. homage to that Pepsi commercial, bro. I guess I don't know what commercial <laughs> about, but they ripped it off of me. Uh, I mean, and then the next day hurts, of course. Oh, it hurts. But I had to go to work, and uh, you know. Shout out Victoria's Secret. Shout out, oh, yeah, 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 bro. And that, bro, you got to go in, what, 5 a.m., 6 a.m.? 4 a.m., oh. but uh, we were late as fuck that day. Oh, hell no. We got Cruise. in, I think, 6. Uh. <laughs> Trashed. Cruz, what is the wildest party you've ever been to? Uh, also one I made. Um, Respect. I hosted. Yeah. Uh, it, it wasn't a birthday party. It was just a party I just decided to make. There hell you yeah. go. And uh, near the end, around 2 a.m., Hey, Gang. There's a party. Yeah. Like, nah, you're you're confused. Like, you missed <laughs> it. There, bro. And it was the only party that I don't remember how it ended. Great. I just remember waking up in my room, not on my bed, but like in my bed. Right. <laughs> and uh, I remember like the next day, like you know, I was trying to like find out what happened. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
oh, don't walk out yeah. this door and be yeah, destroyed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. At least it's a short drive, bro. I'll tell you that. You don't know how you're going. That's why oh. sober you has to prepare for drunk you. Yes. yes. You know? Yes. You have to lock all the important doors. Oh. And you can tell that you're saying that from toys. experience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> Guys, oh, before, before we start wrapping up, a couple last topics that I definitely want to uh, get into. What is your relationship with... Uh, theater reviewers what do you think about uh you know or theater uh yeah critiques when you have the reviews reviews are out do you read them do you not read them do you care do you not care uh what are your two cents on that melissa yeah so actually my first time ever being reviewed was when we did church and state and what i don't like is knowing that they're in the audience okay. i don't like knowing that because i feel like changes the performance it does. It does. and i don't want that do they normally notify you hey this guy's gonna be there they don't. um no not normally but the director for that show did let us know which i kind of wish soup? he had done that's what i was like, just thinking it seems oh by the way hey shit your pants like, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly and it's like obviously he didn't do it for that reason but it was just kind of like oh crap now like yeah. we have people actually going to be like reviewing us and that right. impacts the rest of the show, the rest of the run. Right. So it's really nerve wracking, but um, oh, I'll read the review. Um, Obviously, like you're kind of skimming around for your name. Like, of oh my God, what did they say about me? What did they say about me? Fuck everyone else. Like, what yeah. did they say about me? <laughs> and and like, nice. it gets a little scary in that of moment. Course. Just like, oh my God, like you're literally being judged by yep. someone you've never met in your entire right. life. So it's nerve wracking, but I guess it's almost kind of like fun, man. It's almost, right. it's real life, yo. It is real life. So is it the same yeah. thing for like Carbonell judges, that sort of thing? <clears throat> oh my God. <laughs> Funny thing. I've never been to the Carbonells. Um, shout out to the Carbonells. Um, <laughs> out to the Carbonells. <laughs> but I'll still be considered. You know what I'm saying? I'll still be considered. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know what they base their judge, uh, their reviews <laughs> on and for the Carbonells, what they nominate based on. I have no idea. So I'm gotcha. just hoping, hey, y'all, come watch Wolf and Badger. There, <laughs> yes, please do. What, you is, see? Uh, what is the Carbonells? For those of us, uh, uh, it's mm. the Tonys of uh, Florida or South Florida. Yeah. Um, okay. So, but do you know what the Tonys are? Nope. Well, there you go. It's the <laughs> I Oscars. Know Tony, though. It's the Oscars of theater. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank and you. So, <laughs> <laughs> also, thank you from everyone that's uh, not that's a not a theater. Yes, 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 yes. Aware of what's going on. Yes. Uh, Tonys, Oscars of theater, and Carbonells are the Tonys of South okay. Florida. So they only do stage. Yeah. Tony, yes. Yeah. Tony's, oh, yes. I didn't know that. Yes, yes, yes. And the Oscars are obviously film, and then you got uh, Emmys for television mm -hmm. and Grammys for music. Shout out Emmy. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what about uh, you? Do you do you feel any sort of pressure? Does it change your perspective at all? Do you read them? Um, talk to me about that, Brandon. Yeah, I, I don't know that I've had many, to be honest with you, even like some of the professional stuff I've done. Uh, I've read maybe a couple, I think, they, but I, I think I think the most, again, the most recent one I can remember was like Miami Motel, and it was just like, uh, <laughs> probably the best we've ever gotten. It was like, and uh, other teenager played by Brandon Hoffman. I was like, fucking nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, fucking, I'm fucking in it. Hell, I am the other fucking teenager, you're me. damn oh right. God, like, hey, I was a teenager. They hell yeah, there, bro. bro. That's tree yeah. number four, baby. Yeah. We out here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, hell, hell yeah. yeah. Get in my career, oh, but, that's beautiful. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, it's like, if knowing if that the person's the audience, I, like, it's only, you know, it can only hinder you. It's, it's the same thing with the audience. It's like, I can't think about what they're going to think because then I'm performing for them or then I'm trying mm -hmm. to do something. And this is, again, I'm saying it out loud. It's not some shit I practice right. as well. Like, right. I probably, like, would shit my pants or something. Because <laughs> you want them like you. But yeah, you can't, you know, like, I probably would read them depending on, like, if there were multiple, I'd want to see some, you right. know, see what people think about it. But yeah, I, I wouldn't want to give too much stock to it. Of course. Because it, it just throws you off. Because then especially if it's midway through a run, you're like, well, yeah. fuck, they said this sucked. Yeah. How am I going to do the rest yeah, of yeah. it? Oh, right. Because they post, like they go to well, one of the earlier shows. Yeah, exactly. yeah, they don't wait till the show's over and be like, oh, I, I consider your feelings if right. they didn't like it. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know, so. Uh, yeah. They don't care about yeah. your feelings. No, they don't give a shit. <laughs> really? yeah. Josh, I know you haven't uh, experienced this, but um, what do you feel... Uh, are you, do you feel that you're going to read into them? Do you feel that you're going to read them during the run? Or are you going to wait till the end? Talk to me. Yeah, I'm going to wait to the end, you know, and just take everything with a grain of salt. Okay, know? okay. And that's all you can do, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, it's you that's on stage, you know what I'm saying? That's facts, ladies and gentlemen. Got, um... Ladies and gentlemen, what an episode of Colossal Proportions we have had today. Can we please give it up for our guests today? The cast of Wolf and Badger, Melissa, Brandon, and Josh. 
<laughs> Guys, thank you so much for coming on today. Thank I am you. eternally you grateful. This, you thank you. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. You're an entertainer, I'm trying, man. Oh, man. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm watching you, bro. Uh, bro. <laughs> um, thank you. Melissa, when is it that you guys open up? Can you please feed, feed us those dates so we can give them that beautiful poster? Yeah, absolutely. We open July 23rd, which is this upcoming Friday. Boom. Get your tickets Boom. at MainStreetPlayers.com. MainStreetPlayers.com. And uh, we close on August 29th. So you got six weekends. Six weeks. No excuses. Get your life together. Get your life together. Real, man. No Get excuses. Get your in order, bro. bro. For real. That's yeah. a date yeah. night, bro. That's a, bro, it could be a date night. It could be a single night. It could be whatever you want at night. All right? Just make it happen. Oh, um, and talk to us a little bit about the details as far as the recording for those people out of state or so. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Um, so I'm not, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be online. I will, you know, give you the details yes. eventually so you can, You'll you know, see it on the it. screen. Oh, yeah. But it will be available online for purchase for $10 for the download and you have 36 Boom. hours to watch it. So Boom. you don't have to do it immediately. Exactly. You have, you can take your time. You can take, you Bro. can take your own Prep intermission. Oh my God. That is, a, date night. that is a night. Oh my God. That is a date night. You get it. Boom. You got 36 hours. Boom. You got a nice pizza. You got your mm. girl. You're vibing in the sofa. Mm. You maybe get a little recreational activities. You know, I don't know what you do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you vibe and but you watch. But not during the Wolf. performance. No, no, no. Of course. Respect the arts. Respect the arts. Speak for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, guys, uh, thank you so much. I wish you the absolute <laughs> most glorious opening possible. Thank you. Wolf and Badger, please, please check them out. Um, any last words uh, for our audience before we wrap up? Shout out to my mama and daddy. Respect. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come see us, man. Just come check us out, man. Wolf and Badger, we're working our asses off. Like, mm -hmm. it's good. It's a good show. You need life there as much as we do, bro. Like, uh, just come on, like. And that's facts, yeah, man. Yeah, come out and check yeah. us out, man. That's Please, you won't regret right. it. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing like yeah. art. There's nothing like live art. Yeah. So treat yourself. Yes. Treat mm. yourself. Yeah. Treat yourself. Yeah. Come yeah. watch Wolf yeah. and Badger. Yeah. And also, thank you to both of you. You guys are such gracious hosts. Thank you. And you over thank here you. being <laughs> the man behind the camera. Yeah, Can't forget cameras. about you. The you man that saying? fucks up landscape. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Um, you know, uh, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. Um, and I just want to say, you know, for everybody that um, has not gotten a chance to check out live theater yet, the fact that they have a an audience is, is remarkable. Please seize that opportunity. I know a lot of you think that um, you can ca get a similar experience by, you know, you, you got Hamilton on Disney Plus. And sure, they shot it hella professionally, came out beautifully. But nothing will ever be the same as being in the room where it happens. Boom, bar. Mm. Um, you know, uh, but seriously, the fact uh, that you are there when these people are, are putting their all into, into the production in the stage, it, uh, it's, it holds so much merit. So I commend you guys. Um, congratulations on putting on the first show post-pandemic. Congratulations on getting back on that bike. And I cannot wait to check out the show. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank of you. course. You. Ladies and gentlemen, every single Thursday at midnight, you know what it is. You know what I'm saying? You go on uh, Apple Podcasts. You go on Deezer. You go on uh, iHeartRadio. Uh, right, there you go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you go, but more than anything, ladies and gentlemen, you go on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button. You got all the visuals. You see these beautiful faces. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? You got all the posters, all that good stuff. Go on the YouTube. Hit that subscribe. You know what I'm talking about? And you'll be all up to date with every single one of our guests, you know, whether it be in the South Florida, uh, you know, theater community or beyond. Every Thursday at midnight, you know what it is. Holla. Good night.